Hi, this is White Eye Cam here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my Mercury Vapor Sylvania Suburban Streetlight. So, this light is um, made by Sylvania. It's called the Suburban. And it was the last Mercury Vapor fixture they made until. Sylvania's Australian, until the Australian Lighting Division of Sylvania was bought out by, by Geared Lighting, and when they bought it out, they discontinued pretty much all the high intensity discharge lighting products that Sylvania were producing. So, we've well, got an overview of the light. So, this, here's the light. You can see. Got the cast aluminium body, shown here. You can see the lamp inside there, lamp for the technical people, light bulb. A lot of others are if you're in Australia, light globe. See, <laughs> so there's a diffuser. You see, M80D15. 80 watt mercury vapor, that's what the M80 means. D means diffused lamp. Common misconception is people think that D actually means the photocell because the photocell was known as a type D2, so people think that's that. <laughs> so people think that D means D2 photocell, but it actually means diffused lamp, as in bulb. So it has the phosphor coating in it. And then the 15 is the hero manufacturer. So to access the lamp, what you do is you just un unclip these little things, you undo these little clips. And then diffuser. Oh, and when it's up on the pole in the air, it's much easier to work on. See, so hinges up, and it's actually getting a little bit stuck. Mm. Yeah. So once you've unclipped the clips, the diffuser opens up. So once you've undone the clips on the side, on the front there, and then there's one on the other side over there. Once you've undone that, the diffuser then opens up and you can get access to the lamp. So this is a modern, uh, newer Sylvania HSL BW 80W 81 Mercury Vapor Lamp. This is a newer Chinese one. The older ones were made in like Belgium, Germany. You can see all the reflector pieces. Help to direct the light down to the street. Just close that up. There's the photo cell to type D2. Looks like a fluorescent starter but with an extra pin and notch on it. There's the socket. It just goes in there and yeah. Now to get into the gear compartment, you just push these in like this. This little spring clips. And then you turn it over and then you open it. There's urban on it. This is actually the same piece it's used as hover on the urban. Here's the inside. There's the photo cell socket. There's a power factor correcting capacitor. There's the terminal block. There's the spot where the street light arm would go in. Here's the ballast. This is a CMP controls OMB 80 03. <laughs> well, it's actually a Trionic Atco OMB 80. It's just been rebadged as CMP controls. Here's the information sticker, Sylvania Suburban. A few different, all sorts of different technical stuff made in Australia. For Australian conditions too. And yeah, there's a little inspection thing. 
There's the wires that go through to where the light globe is. Here's your bolts for the mount. Yeah. And that's pretty much what's in here. Then you've got the cast aluminium in there. Here's the cover. This cover was actually made in 2014. May 2015 is when the cast was when the, the light was assembled. I'm guessing they still had a bunch of older or leftover covers from 2014 that they used on some of the 2015s. So it's a very nice little light. I love the front of it, that that nice curve. Shame these are being replaced now. Although, in my area, these were being installed as late as 2018 with the... And there's actually another version, it's called the Suburban Eco, which um, I've got a few examples of that in different wattages. And instead of having a mercury vapour inside, they've actually got a plug-in type compact fluorescent lamp instead. And those are actually... They were made during the period where mercury vapor was technically discontinued, but LED had not yet been approved for use on the roads. So they made those CFL ones, which I think should be what they install now, because those are much more reliable than the LEDs. So what we'll do now is we'll Put the camera back up and we'll... So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to let the light, I'm going to plug the light in, let it warm up. I took the photo cell out so that I can, so it doesn't turn off midway through. This photo cell is actually HSCPE-PE2. It's not one of the more common black coloured Salcon ones that you see. Mm. This one's different. It's also white all the way along. Around. Plug the light in. You can see it starts off like that. Camera's making it look more white than what it actually is. In person, it's a bit more purple. Or pink. Now, a little word of warning for any of you who have a light like this or similar that has a plastic diffuser. If you plan to run it upside down like this, don't do it for too long. Because if you do it for too long, you have a chance of actually the heat from the lamp melting the diffuser. And that's not a good thing. So, this will take about somewhere between three to five minutes to warm up. And the camera it's turned into a more of a blue colour, but in person it's actually turning white. Yeah, it's warming up.
I've let it warm up a bit and yeah. Well, we can still go a bit further, but what I'll do now is um, put the photo cell in there and give a demonstration of it turning the light off. So, let's put the photo cell in. And light well, should turn off. I might need some help from the iPad torch to do that. There it goes, turns off. Now we'll unplug it and we'll play the video. So that's my Mercury Vapor Suburban made by Sylvania. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.